Hello, hello, hello. Well, here we are one more time. And this journal note said mice. I have always seemed to fall asleep midway until into the uh, Bible class. I like to attend Bible class on Friday nights and my pastor is, is teaching and always midway into the teaching I get so sleepy and if I sit still long enough it's lights out for me so uh, you know I just never know what the lesson is going to be the topic is usually not announced in advance so uh, when I arrive I, I'm uh, always surprised and I enjoy whatever the Lord guides my pastor to teach on but so as I was waiting for the class to begin, and my favorite seat is over near the uh, area where I can see straight to the uh, kitchen and dining area. And if that door is open, I can see the counter where you can order food. But uh, as I was sitting there, uh, I noticed a gray creature. And it was a mouse and it seemed to just run right right near the wall of the dining area from the kitchen and it just went right out the side door and oh I just tell you I, it just creaked me all the rest of the night and as the class began the door was closed that lead to that dining area but I still I just felt as though I could not rest I, I you know sometimes the best sleeps come when you're in church but sleep left me because I had to keep my eye on that dining room door and I kept my eye on the side wall and down where I sit uh, making sure nothing was on the floor by my feet I know you know I know springtime these creatures hatch and then they go crazy looking for mates and all this kind of stuff it, it, it just was it was just not a good feeling and I thought about leaving and I said no because the the topic is really interesting and hey you know just hang on in here and it reminded me as when I was a young woman uh, a girl or I was a kid third grade until uh, I graduated from high school and we had an old house and mice would appear in that house every springtime. We did all we could. Here you got a mother with three daughters. And we are trying our best to clear away all the vines and all the, uh, make a clearance around the house of all the plants outside. And we had some liquid cement we put around the, the pipes and boarded up what we could any kind of hole we thought a mouse could come through we did it every spring we just tidied up and it, it, it was such a nuisance and i tell you mice can almost make you kill yourself if you're not expecting them and you're in the kitchen cooking something hot and something cross run across your foot or you see something you can almost have a bad accident and that's not good but, you know, I, I, my mind went back to that. I said, now here I am in church trying to enjoy. And it's the season, spring season, where the mice come out of their nests. And, uh, you know, I, 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 as, a, as a young girl, we used, to, we used to ask our mother, how come you didn't get married or didn't have no brothers and no sons to come and help us tackle all this. This is just too much. Not that a man in the house and males around would have stopped the mice coming in, but all that work we had to do to, to clear the way so in case uh, mice would breed in the vines and all that kind of stuff. It was just too much work for some girls. We didn't like that at all. And, you know, I'm so glad those days are long past due. But still in my mind, I think, oh, springtime, new birth. You can hear the birds chirping in the nest. They're so happy to see their, their springtime babies and, and, and all the other creatures starting to come out. But doggone it, those mice, 
They are such a headache. Well, that's the end of the vlog. It's not long, but you know, you got to be very, very careful when it's the time for those mice to hatch. Clear the way. Make sure that you don't have them running rapid in your home or your apartment. Okay, ladies? God bless you. Take care. I'm praying for you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.